Hey, everyone. Nice to see you all. I'm here with the lovely, the amazing, the incredible Amanda Robbins. Love, love, thank you. you for joining me. Thank you for having me on this video, this recording today. It's such a pleasure and an honor and a privilege, privilege to be here. Thank you. Okay, we're talking about unlocking leadership potential, the impact of coaching on employee engagement and development. Specifically, so there was some research done yeah. um, by the ICF and HCI research revealing a powerful trend that organizations who've invested in coaching leaders, so they're investing in hiring coaches for their leaders, Mm -hmm. um, they've seen significant improvements in leadership development, employee engagement, and commitment. Specifically, they've seen a 73% increase. No, I'm sorry. Coaching enhances leadership by 73%, increases engagement by 69%, and boosts commitment of the teams by 66%, which I think is pretty cool because now you're seeing measurable difference of the team's overall performance based on the leader of the team getting coaching. And so one thing that I'm really proud of that we do is it's one thing to receive coaching, which I think is awesome. I have multiple coaches myself. I know you have coaches. It's wonderful to receive coaching. I think in order to enhance the result itself, though, is after that person in a leadership or management role in your company has received coaching, I think it's very, very smart to have them actually go get certified as a coach so that they now have the tools that they can use on themselves with self-coaching, but then they can actually coach the people on their team within yeah. the organization. So they both are getting coached as a leader and they're able to then coach the different team members. Um, I think it was last week or the week before in our business accelerator, we talked about the difference between coaching, mentoring, and consulting. Oh, I'm sorry, coaching, mentoring, and managing. Mm -hmm. And when to use each as, as a leader in an organization. There's times when you need to manage there's times when you need to coach and there's times when you need to mentor. And most people, what I've noticed, and tell me if you've seen this to be true as well, what I've noticed is most people, one, don't know the difference between the three. And two, usually have one that's stronger in their own tool set or skill set. So they land up just doing that over and over and over again and calling it all three. Give you an example. I had a gentleman I worked with where he runs a massive organization. They do hundreds of billions of dollars a year in sales. I remember him and I had a, at a meeting. He's the founder. He created it, all this stuff. And he brought me in and he goes, hey, before we get started, can I give you some coaching on what you're doing there? <laughs> As it interesting. And so my antennas went up because when someone says the phrase, can I give you some coaching? I instantly know they're not coaching because you don't give someone coaching. <laughs> and I said, sure. I mean, I'm not going to argue with him in the moment. So sure. What do you got? And he said, if I were you, here's how I would handle that based on my experience of what I've seen and done in the past. Here's a couple steps you should take in order to do it. I went, ah, that's mentoring. He's sharing his past experience with the goal of helping me kind of shortcut or, or see his experience and use his tools to get across the bridge I'm currently trying to cross. That's wonderful. The problem is he doesn't know the difference between that and coaching. And because of that, they're in an organization where they're missing the 73% enhancement of leadership, the 69% boost in commitment, and the 66% uh, boost in engagement. Because they're using the concept of mentoring under the, the words of coaching, and they don't know the difference. Mentoring does not produce the 73% increase or the 66% increase in commitment. Mentoring right. doesn't do that. Coaching yeah. does. And yeah. so one of the challenges a lot of groups, organizations, or people have is, they don't know the difference between coaching, mentoring, and managing. They call everything coaching. 
And then they wonder why their team, their group, their company, their organization aren't getting these type of results in improvement because they're not actually doing coaching. And so one thing we specialize in making sure managers, leaders, owners actually have coaching tools and know how to actually do coaching so they can get that 66 to 73 percent improvement on their teams and organizations. Have you seen this in the people you work with, love? What I love about what you shared, specifically about the leaders getting training and coaching or coach certified, yeah, is because at first it would be easy to say, but I don't want to become a coach, right? The idea here is that when you have a coach that's well-trained, they're able to do it in such an incredible way where, and it's because of their experience and their training without a doubt, their training specifically, because the difference, like what you said, someone that doesn't have training thinks they're coaching and they're actually just telling or managing or mentoring. And that's not it. And in fact, there's some resistance in some cases where someone might be like, I don't want to be coached. And the reason why is because they're thinking that coaching is what people are calling coaching, but it's not actually coaching, which is telling or managing like that. Can I coach you on something? And then they're just telling you what to do. Nobody wants to be told what to do. And that is definitely not what a coach does. A coach is not telling someone what to do. And what's beautiful is that when a leader gets coach trained, trained as a coach, Mm -hmm. they're able to listen in a different way. They're able to understand someone in a different way. They're able to communicate in a way that people listen. They're able to lead in a way that they know how to drive performance and this uh, collaboration together of their teams in a way that adds a tremendous amount of value to the organization. And frankly, they may not even realize that they're being coached in the moment because it's not what a lot of people think it is. A lot of people think that coaching is telling. It's not. It's not like what you said. It's not managing. It's not mentoring. It's not advice giving. It's not cheerleading. None of those things are managed. None of those things are coaching. A well-trained coach is having a conversation with you where you, you actually feel like the genius because you are. And you, you, it's so much about you instead of them telling you what to do. It's about you actually coming up, like tapping into that inner genius of yourself or your most, your highest and best version of yourself, your skill sets, your resources, your creativity, the abundance, like all of these things within you. But so often, so people are really kind of diluting what coaching means, like what that means, because they're calling everything coaching when it's not that. So I really love that you brought up how powerful it would be. It is, excuse me, for leaders to actually not only have a coach because of those statistics you shared, but also to go through coach training to better lead their teams. I'm, I love that so much. That's where I, I really see the magic at and going back like 10, 20 years ago in the corporate world, there and this is why there's such a shift because we're trying to get away from just telling people what to do what worked for us may not work for them what worked then may not work now and if we actually can empower people uh to bring forth the best of themselves their their highest and best thinking their you know like all of these beautiful characteristics that we lose we don't get to sharpen our people when we just tell them what to do right um and so anyway I love that because I think back then, like how much better the teams had I had coaching skills as a leader back then. um, And I was one of those people that thought I was coaching, you know, this (laughs) had I then I was a great leader without a doubt, but I definitely was only scratching the surface. And I find this with a lot of people that come through PCU, they realize, wow, I'm actually an amazing coach now because one, I'm a coach and I'm actually amazing at it because of the tools and the training that we put them through. And then also uh, the impact, the way they're actually able to help their clients and their teams is at such a deeper level. And before they realize 
gosh, if it was a client, maybe I should give them somewhat of a refund because I am way better now. <laughs> and that's nothing wrong. I'm sure you still serve them. I know I served the people I was working with then, but with really great training, we're only getting better when we invest into ourselves and our skill sets and knowledge. And so what's beautiful is that those teams that I used to work with when I was, you know, fresh into my career, I would have been able to serve them at such a higher level, develop them so much better, get so much more out of them, not just in productivity, but in their, like in the, the, the creation, the collaboration, um, just that fortitude and commitment and resilience that coaching really brings out of people. Um, yeah. Like I want to go back and be like, I want to work with all those teams again, but now as a coach, as a trained coach. And I think that that's really what's in it for a lot of leaders too, is that they will be able to have such a deeper impact on their teams. And yeah. it's, it's exciting. It's good stuff. I think the so the, managing is so out. So the thought of this is enhanced leadership development. So coaching tools help leaders develop critical leadership skills, such as active listening, empathy, effective communication, which leads to improved decision-making, problem solving, and the ability to inspire and motivate teams. Yeah. That's a really, really, really important point. Uh, as far as increased employee engagement, so leaders trained in coaching tools are better equipped to engage employees by understanding their needs, providing meaningful feedback, and fostering a supportive work environment that results in higher job satisfaction and retention rates, which I think is very important and critical. Number three is improved team performance. So coaching techniques enable leaders to build high performing teams by identifying and nurturing individual strengths, addressing yes. weaknesses and promoting collaboration, yes. which leads to increased productivity and better overall team dynamics. Yes. Can, so one thing that's, it's a little bit of like the secret sauce of coaching is there are so many times where we find that people like as, as leaders or managers, you may find that, or even your, your clients before you go through a, formal and really good coach training program, you'll find that people know what they need to do, but they're not doing it. Yep. Right. Like they have the skill set, but they're just not doing it. They have the knowledge, but they're just not applying it. And the, the magic of a coach, like someone with coach training, like what you've just shared mm -hmm. is that they actually are able to get people to take action, to follow through, to commit, to, to see the results and not just like a one-off result, but lasting results. And I think like that's transformation. That's incredible. And to be able to have that gift as a leader, which is something mm -hmm. I don't take lightly. It's like one of my, it's such a like firstborn thing. I like love being a leader. I've loved leading teams. Um, and it's one of the greatest gifts you can give to people, not only in your, you know, and your coworkers or your community, but to humanity is to allow us to evolve into the best versions of ourselves, to live in integrity with our soul and what we want to do, what we dream of doing and actually know, knowing what we're capable of doing and actually following through with it. That's the magic of a coach. They help people do that. They do that. It's incredible. So just reiterating that we said from the beginning is research shows that Proper coaching and leadership enhances leadership by 73%, increases engagement by 69%, and boosts commitment of teams by 66%. So there's measurable, tangible research that shows this. The final two things. So coaching helps with enhanced leadership development, increased employee engagement, improved team performance. It also helps with greater adaptability and resilience. So That's leaders with coaching skills are more adapt adaptable to change and can help their teams navigate challenges and uncertainties effectively. They can foster a culture of continuous improvement and resilience, which is crucial in today's fast paced business environment. The final one is enhance organizational culture. So coaching trained leaders contribute to creating a positive culture, organizational culture that values personal and professional growth. This culture promotes trust, openness, and a strong sense of purpose, which can lead to sustained organizational success and competitive edge. This is really, really important. I think it that part on resilience, I believe, is one of our superpowers as performance coaches specifically. Yep. What do you think? I think so too. I think people don't realize how often – 
little things of how they show up, the foundation of who they are, um, their mindset, how they psychologically deal with stuff, their self-talk, what they think about and visualize all day long, the words they use. Um, just they don't think about all the little pieces that seem so basic, <laughs> but they don't think about how this is affecting how they're experiencing their work, their life, their family, themselves. They don't realize the difference this is making. And so as performance coaches, we've I've come into companies and I've worked with people who've grown and sold a company for over a billion dollars. Like I, I work with them and the first thing I come in and do is help make sure that they are living their life in a way that is going to make them the strongest, most resilient, most focused, driven, excited, passionate, determined, healthiest, best version of themselves. Because that version of them will handle all of the problems totally different yeah. than the average or worst version of themselves. And so as performance coaches, we literally focus on the most important parts of this human being to get them to elevate as a human. And once they elevate, they handle themselves differently, problems differently, their team differently, their clients differently, the entire organization shifts because we get the leaders to show up at a different level than they were previously doing. And yeah. so I think it's a game changer when we get them to adopt and adapt in these ways, which creates that resilience, which creates that competitive advantage, because all of a sudden, if you have two competitors and one of them is the average or worst version of themselves and the other one is showing up as the absolute best version of themselves, the average one doesn't stand a chance in comparison. And so as performance coaches, when we get this into the leaders of the organization, it trickles into the organization, becomes part of the ethos and the culture, and the entire organization grows. Yeah. And so um, quick call to action. I know both of us have to jump for other calls. Really simple. We have a pod starting in Performance Coach University. When does the next pod start? July 8th. July 8th. So if you're interested in getting these tools into your organization, into getting these tools into your life, in your business, in your team, if you want to see a 70, what was it, a 73% increase in leadership effectiveness, a 69% boost in engagement, a 66% boost in commitment of your team, reach out to us. We'd love to have you join us at Performance Coach University. If you want to check it out, you can go to performancecoachuniversity.com forward slash apply. If you're watching on one of the platforms, you can send me a direct message that says, I'd like more information about Performance Coach University. I'll throw in one other piece. So I made an announcement on here a couple weeks ago, and I said I was opening up just a couple spots to work one-on-one, -on -one, either with an individual or a team to help them improve their personal performance. I had a ton of people reach out. I had five people sign up in one week. Um, I have one more spot open. And so if you're watching live and you're interested to work with me personally on this type of stuff, reach out to me. I have one spot open that I'd like to fill this week. So if you're interested, just send me a direct message. Say you'd like to work with me personally one-on-one. -on -one. I will reach out to you. We'll set up a time to chat, see if it's a good fit, and hopefully move forward. Okay. Thank you. Later.